This fight was for the junior middleweight championship of the world. Floyd Mayweather versus Canelo Alvarez. Um, this fight had already broken the record for the largest gate to over 20 million. Uh, this fight was could potentially also, it was talking about breaking pay-per-view record of 2.44 set by Delahoy Mayweather. Uh, this fight had all the makings to be, uh, you know, superstar type fight. Um, like I had said in my pre-fight comments a couple of months ago when I heard this fight was announced, that I expected Mayweather to win a unanimous decision. Um, I also said that Mayweather wasn't going to really hurt Alvarez with anything. Um, I said that Alvarez's shot of winning this fight was just to go in and just not throw caution to the wind, but know that he, he was going to eat a lot of clean punches from Mayweather. But just, you know, land to the body, land to the arms, hit the elbows, the shoulders, and go to the body, the body, the body, the body, and use his jab. Um, it was a good fight. You know, the fans, I guess, you know, they got their money's worth. Those who also kicked out the money for the pay-per-view, you know, were satisfied with the decision. Not entirely satisfied with the decision. They were satisfied with the outcome that Mayweather had won. Now there are some fans who you know who pay to see Mayweather lose, but that just wasn't the case. Um, Mayweather won a, a majority decision. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, one judge had it a draw, 114-114. C.J. Ross. I'll talk about that in a moment. And the other judge had it 116-112. That's four. That's eight rounds to four. Another judge had it 117, 111, nine rounds to three. Um, what I thought about the fight, round one was a feel out round. They were like they were feeling each other out and stuff like that. Uh, round two, uh, you know, I guess I guess with Mayweather, like he takes the first couple of rounds to you know see what his opponent is bringing and there from on he makes his adjustments. Uh, Alvarez landed. Two good body shots in that round that that I do remember. Um, round three, some I you know as I was talking to some people, they, some people said it was a tough round to call, but Mayweather was landing you know precise shots. He really was, and Alvarez was being aggressive. He knew he was being effective, but he wasn't effectively aggressive. He was throwing shots to the body and stuff like that, and throwing to the head, you know. But uh, round four. Um, I gave that round to Alvarez, and I'll tell you why. In that round, Alvarez threw a jab at Mayweather, and it's like as if he landed that jab, and like Mayweather like kind of like stumbled for a second. Not that he was hurt, like he stumbled for a second. Like it, it caught his attention. It's the only reason why I gave Alvarez that round. Um, round five, Alvarez just through what was available. He just threw anything to the body, to the arms. He just threw what he took what was available. I didn't say he won the round, but I just said he just let his hands go a little bit. Um, round six, Alvarez gets a little rough in that round, rough and tough and whatever have you. I remember a comment Ricky Hatton made after he got knocked out by Mayweather. He said boxing is in a tickling contest. Which was true because Alvarez definitely showed that in round six. Um, round seven, Mayweather clearly outboxed Alvarez, and you really, and then at that point, you really see that Alvarez was really starting to slow down, like he, you know, his issues with his stamina still to this day. Uh, round eight, again, he Mayweather just clearly outboxed Alvarez, you know. Um, Round nine. At this point, I'm thinking in my head, this is just too easy for Mayweather. Like he said, easy work, and that's exactly what it was. Uh, round ten. Again, I'm just saying to myself, man, he's just giving him a boxing lesson at this point. And round eleven and round twelve was Mayweather all day, all day, all day, and that's what it was. Um, now. Mayweather beats Alvarez. Mayweather has four more fights left on his contract with Showtime. My question is, and maybe uh, for those who watch this video, 
Y'all can comment on this. Who is next or who is left for Mayweather to fight that would be a credible opponent, a worthy opponent for people to want to kick out money for for pay-per-view? Four fights left. I saw Amir Khan in, in attendance. Like, that may be a potential opponent in the future. At this point in the game, I really care less to see if Mayweather beat on glassed chin Amir Khan at this point. It, it serves no purpose now. If he was going to do that, that, that fight should have happened some time ago before Khan had lost to uh, Peterson and, and before he got knocked out by Danny Garcia. If that fight were going to happen. Um, who's left? You, you, can't, you can't say a rematch with Alvarez. He convincingly beat Alvarez, so to see a rematch, it wouldn't mean it wouldn't make sense. Uh, what are you gonna do? Have him fight Danny Garcia? Uh, as good as Danny Garcia is, he's not on the level of a Mayweather. And and would people really want to pay to kick out sixty to sixty five dollars for single definition, or seventy to seventy five dollars for high definition to see Mayweather fight Garcia? And we all know, and of course we all know the Pacquiao fight ain't gonna never happen. Two different promotional companies. And Mayweather also on the record said he will never fight him. Um, so who's left? If he has four fights, who who's going to be credible opponents for Mayweather to fight? Unless what he goes out on the limb and maybe want to fight for the middleweight crown or whatever have you. Who knows? He's now the welterweight. He's he's now the welterweight and the junior middleweight champion of the world. Would he want to? take that risk or would that just be too much of a risk who knows where does Mayweather go from here the only point the only person at this t stage of the game that can beat Mayweather is Mayweather himself there's no one out there right now that that could beat him um, as far as me talking about the scores of the fight CJ Ross having it 114 114 to be honest, I don't know what fight she was looking at. and But it's funny that it happened. Two weeks before the fight, I was telling people that I speak to on the street. I said to everyone, if the fight is close, they're going to rob Mayweather. And for her, for, for CJ Ross to come up with a 114-114 score, and the other, and one judge had it 116-112, if this fight were, if this fight were really close, Mayweather would have gotten robbed. They they would have robbed him. Because to come up with a draw when Mayweather clearly, clearly outboxes Alvarez. And it looks as if it was almost too easy. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Excuse me. And for one judge to have it a draw. As soon as I heard the decision, Jimmy Lennon Jr. said, we have a majority decision. I just sort of look on Mayweather's face. Like, really? A, 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 a draw? What fight was C.J. Ross looking at? I have not the slightest clue. But those are my comments on that. Um, leave your comments. I'll respond to them. Um, let me know what you thought of the fight, the event. Um, let me know who you think would be a, a worthy opponent for Mayweather next he did say he wanted to fight again in May 2014. So get back to me and uh, tune into the future for the next videos pre fight on Bradley Marquez. That's coming up October 12 and uh, Klitschko Pavekian as well. Uh, next, till next time, everyone.